camouflage cats, hidden lizards, cryptic snakes, shimmering cuttlefish, and concealed chameleons. Birds that blend or invisible spiders. Which is the master of disguise? Some animals will never be inconspicuous. Others blend so perfectly with their surroundings that they can move through them without detection. For many of the cats of Africa, camouflage is key to survival. From the spots of a cheetah, the rosettes of the leopard, and the stripes and dots of the servo, these cats have evolved to merge with their habitat. The outline of an animal, no matter its size, is an easy one to distinguish. Yet if its basic outline is broken, their form is much harder to detect. With markings breaking up any readily identifiable shape, and a coat, the color of the grasslands in which it lives, the sleek servo walks semi-unseen. But it's not all about hiding. The black and white false eye spots on the back of the cat's ears may serve quite a different purpose. These large eye spots may well make the cat appear bigger and more watchful to any potential predators that may be tempted to attack it from the rear. These same enormous ears also afford the serval cat highly sensitive hearing. Preying on low-flying birds, as well as the small animals at its feet, it is able to hunt by sound alone until it gets close to the quarry to pounce. Other cryptic cats have far larger prey in mind. Arguably, the king of camouflage, the leopard blends with the branches of the treetop vantage point. Everything about the muscular leopard appears to have evolved for camouflage and stealth. With eyes the color of leaves, and the dark pigmentation of their rosettes merging with the bark of trees. When this predator does come to the ground, it moves in silence and can approach to within meters of its unsuspecting prey. Leopards vary in their coloration and marking. Those living in grasslands and more open areas have a light yellow background coat, whereas those in more forested areas will tend to be darker with more markings. On most individuals, the rosettes turn to solid spots on both the face and limbs. Leopards are phenomenally strong for their size. A male can drag a carcass three times its own weight, six meters up a tree. Food is often stored here for a later date. The mottled pattern of its markings beautifully conceal this magnificent animal both against the dappled sunlight of the grass and against the broken shadows of the rocky outcrops. Most of the time, this lethal hunter is utterly concealed from its potential prey. Uh, 
Unlike the leopard, the cheetah does not spend its days in trees and is not a good climber. It does, though, blend equally well with its savanna habitat. Enabling it to get within sprinting distance of its prey, the cheetah's camouflaging spots conceal it in the long grass. Each of the hundreds of solid black dots break up the identifying form of this hunter. For the plains animals of Africa, predators lurk unseen amongst them. Feeding on these harvester ants is a beautiful adapted predator, the regal horned lizard. Merging perfectly with their surroundings, these small reptiles live in the rocky, gravelly, desert-like habitats of Arizona, where they make a living almost exclusively on ants. Prey is scarce enough in the desert, but when 90% of your diet is made up of one species of ant, it takes a lot of time and effort to get your fill and avoid becoming prey yourself. The coloration of these 11 centimeter lizards is well matched to the dry soils and rocks that surround them, but that's not their only camouflage. Experts at remaining motionless, the spines and fringes of their scales lessen their sharp outline and decrease the shadow they cast. Should the hawks, snakes, and coyotes that hunt these horned lizards manage to find them, they have another trick up their sleeve. They can squirt blood from their eyes. Its foul taste is a serious deterrent. A continent away, its distant relative, the thorny devil, has its own ways of hiding in the red deserts of Australia's outback. This multicolored, spiked, patchworked little lizard eats nothing but the ants that scurry across this desolate landscape, sometimes finding thousands to eat in one sitting and plucking them off one at a time. The thorny devil does more than just look incredible. It can change color according to the type of soil it's crossing. It's yellow, orange, brown, red, and white tones altering accordingly. With a bulbous lump of fat on the back of its neck acting as a false head to mislead predators, the thorny devil really is a master of disguise. In the leaf litter of Australia's woodlands and scrubs, hides one of its most cryptic and dangerous snakes, the Death Adder. The camouflaging patterns of snakes are mesmerizing, from the pearly multicolored sheen of the carpet python to the mottled bands of the Death Adder, snakes can be hidden right before our eyes. Unlike many other snakes that will stalk their prey, the Death Adder is a resolute ambush predator. With muted fleck bands that range from reddish brown to gray, this stocky snake relies utterly on its camouflage to conceal it from passing in unsuspecting victims. The arrow-shaped head of the Death Adder leads a thick-set body that seldom reaches a meter in length. Its scales are a perfect match for the browns, tans, and beiges of the fallen leaves and twigs of the undergrowth. With a form that can pass by rocks and through foliage with barely making a sound, for ambush predators, silence 
and patience are key. These snakes can lie in wait for hours, even days, waiting for the right size meal to pass by. When it does, they are quick to strike. They cannot afford to miss the moment. Death adders can help tip the balance in their favor by using their tail as a lure. The creamy tapered end, tempting and curious passers-by, much closer than they know to the potential jaws of death. Who knows if this mouse knows just how close it is? In the hidden world of camouflage predator, there is always something hiding in plain view. Carpet pythons, the age-old nemesis of the scrub turkey, spend many an hour watching from their branched lookouts. These spectacular pythons are found from the tropical rainforests of northeast Australia to its coastal and arid regions. Their color patterns are massively varied. Those from different habitats tend to have their own unique coloration. For this individual, its green-brown markings blend almost seamlessly with the mosses and lichen of the trees it moves through. One of the larger snakes in Australia, carpet pythons can reach over three and a half meters in length. The mound of the scrub turkey is its castle and home to its incubating eggs. The python and the turkey have been battling it out through evolutionary time. The python ever perfecting its camouflage and stealth, while the turkey ever perfects its defensive strategies. Despite the hidden and silent approach of the hunting snake, the vigilant turkey's attack was enough, and the python coils its unhurried retreat, merging back with the emeralds and greens of the forest. Many animals can hide, and many can disguise themselves to some degree, but few can rival the camouflaging capabilities of the magnificent cuttlefish. Cuttlefish can not only change color, they can also change their shape as well as their texture as they morph through seamless variations of themselves. These amazing mollusks with outwardly smooth skin can alter their texture by furrowing themselves into complex folds and ridges. Simultaneously taking on a blotched pattern, they are indistinguishable from the microhabitat they have chosen to settle on. A mere few meters away, a completely different disguise may be in order. The surface of the cuttlefish's skin can expand by 500%, but rather than lose any richness of color in this massive stretch, they can modulate for this expansion by being their own active light emitters. Gentle undulations of their lateral fins move these animals through the water as they morph their way over the ocean floor, sometimes appearing textured and almost translucent, other times a solid black of color, and others 
monster-like in the safety of a crevice. Rapid and graceful changes in color and form are often enough to foil predators. But if they don't work, the cuttlefish has another mask in its armor. The smoke screen that is created by the ink distracts any would-be predator, leaving them searching for a long-gone invisible prey. The iridescent cuttlefish can appear and disappear before our very eyes. Making camouflage in art form are the verdant, sauntering, highly distinctive chameleons that make their homes in rainforests, grasses, trees, and bushes. There are well over 100 species of chameleons around today, ranging from the tiny pygmy chameleon to the prehistoric-looking horned chameleon. Most are found in Africa and Madagascar. Testament to the simple principle of camouflage by matching body color to environment, these little reptiles render themselves inconspicuous. Their tongues are like a tethered projectile, able to shoot out one and a half times their body length. These sticky-ended probes are estimated to reach their target in seven one-hundredths of a second. The flecked, dotted and patchy markings of a chameleon's skin serve to break up their outline and distort the symmetry of their body form. Moving slowly and gently, the disturbance they bring to the leaves is minimal. Prehensile tails help them grip while incredible eyes provide a 360 degree view of the world. The upper and lower eyelids are joined, leaving just the smallest of holes for the pupil to gaze out from. Able to rotate and focus each eye separately, the chameleon can observe two objects simultaneously. Not only does this help the chameleon locate its own prey with pinpoint accuracy, it also helps with its own overall camouflage. The tongues of these insectivorous reptiles have an elastic recoil mechanism, which is much less thermally sensitive than the rest of the lizard. This means that even when cold and sluggish, the ectothermic chameleon can still catch its prey. Famed for their ability to change color, chameleons, already beautifully camouflaged for their environment, actually use color change for more social signaling a visual mark of mood and status, as well as an indicator of territoriality. Darker spots and brighter colors are often shown when angered or fearful. Color changes can happen fast brought on by the expansions and contractions of specialized pigment cells in the different layers of their incredible skin.
in the frozen climes of the Northern Hemisphere winter, Targamins blend against their snowy surroundings. The brown-black plumage that better masked them against the summer tundra has given way to their winter covering of almost pure white. Only their eye patch and tail feathers remain black as their plump bodies take on the camouflaging white feathers of winter, concealing them as they forage on the snow-covered grounds of their home. These ground-feeding birds rummage in the snow for willow buds and twigs, their feathered legs and feet serving as avian snowshoes. Female ptarmigans will molt directly from their winter whites to summer browns. Males, on the other hand, with the red wattle over their eyes, have a transitional plumage as they make the move between summer and winter. The feather changes of these Arctic avians are just one way birds can disguise themselves while out in the open. The bush stone curlew of Australia adapts another tactic. Along with its cryptic coloration, the art of staying incredibly still has been mastered by this delicate looking bird. Found throughout much of Australia, the curlew prefers open woodland and is often found near some of the country's other iconic birds. Usually active at night, the dappled curlew spends its day standing quietly in the shade, merging with the leaf litter it stands on. This uncanny ability to stay almost entirely motionless has led to living birds being mistaken for statues. There is one tiny creature that has evolved a camouflage that is so perfect in its simplicity, it is often overlooked by the casual human observer. Crab spiders. Adapted to their hunting terrain, the crab spiders that are found on the bark and leaves are darker in coloration than those found on flowers. Butterflies, honeybees, and beetles are common prey for the sit and wait predatory tactic of the crab spider as they come to feed on the very flowers that hold their enemy. The spider's sturdy front legs are held to the side in readiness to strike. The free roving crab spider, also known as the flower spider, is not a web builder but instead relies on its fabulous camouflage and talent for remaining still sometimes spending days, even weeks, in the same spot. In its search for nectar, the butterfly is seemingly oblivious to the spider's invisible presence. Once caught in its pincer-like front legs, a bite on the head delivers a fast-acting venom that subdues the butterfly. The venom and digestive juices work together to liquefy the internal tissues, and the victim is sucked dry. Which has the best camouflage of all? Is it the spotted cats? The earth-colored lizard? The leaf-colored snakes? The shimmering cuttlefish? Or the ever-changing chameleon? Blended birds? 
or even the invisible spider.